Good morning, friends. Even it's raining today, but it's still really beautiful. And I want to share with you a day in my life. And I have a lot of work to do today. So let's just go for it. Xin chào, welcome to Pilates with Hena and welcome to day 18 of the 30 days of Pilates South journey. Today I want to share with you a part of my journey, what I eat in a day. And if you have followed me, then you probably know that I'm following the plant-based diet and eating less meat. That means I eat a lot of veggies, fruit and a lot of greens. And what I'm following is a whole meal plant, so I try to eat a lot of natural and organic food and not processed food and so far it works very well in my body I don't feel bloated I feel so much more energy and more energy for workout and I feel happier not tired at all so you don't have to follow this diet uh, let's choose what is the best for you and if you ever consider to follow any diet please consult with your doctor or with a professional Alright, so makeup is done and I want to go to make breakfast and my friend Yung will come to visit me today and she gonna just spend the whole day with me so let's go eat first <laughs> So for breakfast I'm gonna make some yogurt and mix with banana and all of my favorite stuff that you're gonna see right away So the first thing before I make breakfast I always feed bro my dog and then also feed this sort of stutter because I use it to make sort of bread flour into the stutter some of my clean water and so I'm gonna use a chopstick just to mix it so I put it there and I always have to like feed the stutter at the same time as I feed bowl because otherwise I'm gonna just forget about the sourdough um, yeah so I try to make it like a habit and now I'm gonna make um, my breakfast, my own breakfast. The, because breakfast for me is really important and I cannot really eat like a lot of carbs. I mean I love sourdough bread a lot and I eat it a lot but then I, I don't really eat it like in the morning because if I do that, I'm gonna feel like really sleepy and, and I cannot, like it just end up like I'm not gonna do anything in the day so I always start uh, my breakfast very light. Um, I made this granola, I just you know, it's like, okay, just call it homemade granola. I'm probably gonna share it with you guys in another video of how to make it. Some chia seeds, some flax seeds here, some unsweetened yogurt. You can always replace it by some milk, like almond milk or nut milk. It's very healthy as well. But recently, I just feel like I'm really like yogurt, so. granola raisins and now peanut my favorite thing of all the time that's one thing I learned about people here in Hoi An they use peanut to every single meal <laughs> if I can count and that's what I love and then I'm gonna cover it and put this in the fridge so it can the chia seed can absorb the, the water from the yogurt and then I'm gonna cover this and put it in the fridge and during that time I'm gonna make tea and 
like some sweet potato for lunch. So this is gonna be my secret tea recipe of all the time. Let's do it together. So for this, I'm gonna put a little bit berries here. Actually, I'm gonna put all because I love it. And some flour inside this filter. And some ginger, rose tea, and jasmine flour. It looks beautiful. So for each one, I'm gonna put around five to seven flowers for each cup. And then I'm going to do some honey, just a little bit, like one teaspoon. You could just add it after the tea, but I think it's okay to just put it now. Okay. And then put it on top. water and close it now I'm gonna let it sit here for probably 30 minutes and that's it and now when we waiting for the sweet potato and and the yogurt. I'm gonna bake some sweet potato so we can have something for lunch. I'll probably do just three small ones today. And I'm gonna rinse some sweet potato here. This is the special kind of sweet potato and we call it honey sweet potato. And this one, normally you can only find it in the mountain. They actually have to bring all the way here to Moya. You can see it looks so yummy, like all the really golden color here. Yeah, I just wanted to see like the beautiful color like this. I love it. That's why I love it so much. And I'm gonna just keep it here. Um, oh my god, it looks so beautiful. Okay, now I'm gonna put just a little bit of salt and pepper and just that. Olive oil. Normally I'm gonna use just half of this one. Spray it evenly. And then put some salt and then some pepper on top. the oven on for probably 15 minutes already so I'm sure that it's ready. Just put it in and wait for I would say 20 minutes probably more because the oven I use is quite small so I think it's gonna take a little bit longer to bake So this is my typical morning. I really enjoy it. I, I feel like this brings me a lot of energy to start a new day. If I have a tip for you, I would say just spend good time for breakfast.
and I try to not using phone or do anything else but only focus on eating because it's better for the digestion so after breakfast we're gonna shoot some workout video and then we're gonna plan for tomorrow because I want to go around Hoi An and, and make some beautiful shot and then after that um, I'm gonna make brunch and then we're gonna have lunch together me and you and um, and then I'm gonna edit the video and that's probably cold day and then after that I'm gonna walk for the second time I walk him twice and if it's not raining I'm trying to make a probably long, longer walk like 30 minutes but if it's raining then I'm trying to make it quick because he hate raining so he don't really want to go out in the rain and there's one really important thing that I need to do today is rearrange my clothes and I want to minimalize it um, so only keep the clothes that I really need because I have a lot of stuff like small stuff for example like the oven and 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 the blender I cannot leave without it, but I actually have to let it go because the next month I'm gonna travel a lot I want to come back to Hanoi to spend take holiday the Lunar New Year with my parents and, and also I need to get rid of some stuff that I don't really need so so yes I'm gonna go and do that and um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna plan to do it in one day because I have so many things and I tend to like take a lot of time to just spend time with my stuff so so probably I'm gonna try to do it for like five days step by step so yeah I'm not gonna be very um, ambitious about that but I try my best and I eat like this almost every day because it's not too much carb and it gives me a lot of energy but like good energy and I don't feel like so sleepy after eating a whole bunch of carb food. You know Vietnamese tradition people tend to eat a quite big breakfast with bread and meat and rice sometimes and noodle um, but I cannot really do that because if I do that, I'm gonna just sleep for the whole day and I cannot really be productive. So I try to take everything light and be energized and, and I feel happy eating like this too. I try to be healthy by eating yogurt, small snack on my work table. It's all like cashew nut and peanut. I like peanut anyway. So have um, pretty low blood pressure so I always drink ginger tea because it's really hard to raise my blood level so this is a beautiful view from my apartment and I love it so much I actually always come here in the morning because it's give me a lot of ideas and and an inspiration to start my day Set up the table here. We're gonna have brunch here. And we're gonna enjoy the beautiful view, just like fancy people. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna change. So I mash with the fork, and then I'm gonna let my frozen sourdough. That's one thing about sourdough is if you don't, if you cannot eat the whole thing at once, you can just freeze it and and just get it out whenever you want to eat it. So I'm gonna put it here. So I actually make different top up with um, sourdough bread every time. Just really depends on what I want to eat and what I had in the kitchen. And today I have sweet potato, I have banana. I should have peanut butter, but I'm not sure if I should put it in because the sweet potato is already sweet. Um, so I can just just eat the yogurt to make it like kind of moist at the same time. It's it's, it's really it's cold and it's with the crispy and hot of, of the sourdough gonna make it really good. Vietnam is famous for coconut and rice. Good coconut. This one actually has some pineapple flavor. Like very light on base, really good. I'm gonna 
put some smart potato on it. So this is a place that I work and edit video every day and normally I spend around 4 to 5 hours to edit. Today I will edit a video for the challenge and so I just put like the timeline in as you can see so it, uh, it takes a little bit longer to upload. So again it doesn't matter which diet that you follow as long as you can pick one that's suitable for your body that make you feel healthy that make you feel energized and also happy and that's for today i hope you enjoyed the video and let me know by commenting below which diet that you are follow or what kind of food that you want to eat or you normally eat and and i'm gonna see you tomorrow day 19 bye